Amy Lash. I'm executive editor of Hub Culture, and I'm here in the Ice Hub in Glasgow during COP26. Really pleased now to be joined by the Bermuda Business Development Agency. You've got David Hart, CEO, and Steve Weinstein. Chair, thanks very much, gentlemen, for coming along. Delighted to be with you. Exciting. So tell me, first of all, what is the Bermuda Business Development uh, Agency? Why are you at COP26? Great question. Uh, so we are Bermuda's public-private partnership. We have a mission to grow Bermuda's economy, diversify Bermuda's economy, and do it in an equitable, sustainable way for the whole jurisdiction. What does that mean, growing the economy? Where do you want it to grow? Well, if you think about Bermuda's like strongest pillars uh, of the economy, we've, we've got a very uh, strong reinsurance and insurance sector known worldwide. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, historically, we've had a very strong tourism sector. And I think, like a lot of communities during COVID, there's been a realization that it makes a lot of sense to broaden that base, diversify the economy into new opportunities so that you're not so reliant in the event of you know, a calamity or, mm -hmm. uh, or anything else that may cause a downturn of one of those existing pillars. And how have you found COP so far? What's been your experience? It's been amazing. The energy, uh, the, the pace, uh, the number of exciting meetings, conversations, thought leaders, but it's also the things that are happening that weren't planned. Those moments of serendipity where mm -hmm. someone you happen to be next to that you don't even know overhears a conversation and suddenly says, I need to talk to you all. That's sounded right. really cool. And so we've been here basically to share the Bermuda story with a mm -hmm. broader global audience uh, and attract new partnerships. So what are some of the key themes arriving out of the conversations? Well, there's many, but the, the one we're keenly interested in is the opportunity to showcase the strengths of Bermuda to be a center for climate risk finance to solve these problems for the rest of the globe. That brain trust that exists in Bermuda in the space of insurance and reinsurance gives us a stronghold that few other places can offer. And so I think over time, you're going to see this be an enormous opportunity for growth and diversifying our economy. Edie, what I might add to that is how gratified we are by how well the Bermuda narrative and our ambassadors have been here at COP. What Bermuda has is something the world needs. Climate science, promise keeping, but also a spirit of collaboration. One theme across COP is how severe our challenges are, but how fun and energizing it will be to address them. And the great diversity of viewpoint skills that we will need to move forward and the confidence I'm going to leave COP with believing that we will. So why should people come to Bermuda for climate risk solutions? Why don't I start there? For 30 years, Bermuda has been, without a doubt, the global capital of climate-driven reinsurance. Reinsurance is the most simple form. It's the most interesting business that nearly no one has heard of. It's, ins it's insurance for insurance companies. But the market that Bermuda developed, pioneered, and transformed is climate-driven natural catastrophe protections. Floods, hurricanes, wildfire, extreme heat. No one does it better. No one's kept more promises. No one has provided more scientific information, both to make these business processes more secure, but to share them with third parties to promote life safety. The next natural vertical for us is climate finance outside of reinsurance. The strengths that we have as a platform, and importantly, the strengths that are human capital, the people of Bermuda, the executives and teammates that have staffed these companies can bring to this new sector, it's really exciting. And that message has been really well received here at COP. Anything else you think is important to add? So I think another theme here is the technological innovations that can advance these causes. And there's so many great things happening that we've heard about in different Give meetings. Me some, some, some right here, you know, we heard about at ISA, the new solar car that was unveiled and talked about. That was so night. cool. So cool, like I gotta get one of those right. for, for <laughs> my time in Bermuda. Bermuda, it'd be perfect. Uh, fantastic, well thank you very much both uh, David and Steve for coming along to the ISA. Thanks for being a partner. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank Thanks you so for much. much.